Hi, and welcome to this Friday's 5-Minute Consult with your favorite family medicine doc. In these videos, I discuss everything that you need to know about some of the most common health conditions listed from A to Z in 5 minutes or less, and today's topic starts with the letter L. So let's talk about lactose intolerance. What is it? Lactose intolerance is a condition that millions of Americans experience. It's when you eat dairy products or milk products and afterward you feel a lot of symptoms including crampiness, gassiness, or even sometimes diarrhea. This can occur anywhere from a half an hour to an hour after you eat dairy. Lactose is the sugar within dairy products that needs to be broken down by a specific enzyme by the name of lactase. In the case of lactose intolerance, your body's small intestines simply do not make enough of this enzyme called lactase, and therefore you cannot digest milk or dairy products very well. What are the symptoms? The main symptoms with lactose intolerance include a lot of abdominal bloating. You can also have abdominal cramping that can range in severity from mild to moderate to severe. Some people experience nausea or even diarrhea. And lastly, one of the more classic symptoms of lactose intolerance is painful gas. What is the cause? Like we talked about, the cause of lactose intolerance is your body's inability to properly digest the sugar of lactose with your body's enzyme called lactase. Foods that are high in lactose include dairy products or milk products, but there are a few other foods that we will go over and those include baked goods, bread or pancake mixes, some breakfast cereals, and certain types of candy, including chocolate. Some instant foods, including drink mixes, instant mashed potatoes, certain soups, as well as salad dressing, margarine, whipped cream, or other creamers. Diagnosis. One of the best ways to help diagnose whether or not you have lactose intolerance is to keep a food diary. You want to be keeping track of the types of foods that you eat and notice if they are causing any symptoms after you eat them. After a while and looking back at your food diary, you might be able to track and see which types of foods are leading to these symptoms and you might notice that they include more dairy products. There are a few other tests that your doctor can perform to help diagnose lactose intolerance. One of those tests is called a hydrogen breath test. Normally people have very little hydrogen in their breath, but if your body is unable to digest lactose, hydrogen builds up within the intestines and later can be found in the breath. Your doctor will give you a lactose loaded drink and after a few hours be able to test the amounts of hydrogen in your breath. If it is still high after three to five hours of taking in the drink, then it tells your doctor that you are unable to digest lactose. What is the treatment? The focus of treatment for lactose intolerance is to help manage your symptoms. If you continue a food diary and see which foods lead to symptoms and which ones don't, that can help guide you in your diet. You wanna be choosing foods that do not lead to symptoms. Of note, people tend to experience more symptoms if they eat dairy products alone versus if they eat them with other foods. If you do choose to eat dairy, you will want to eat them in smaller portion sizes and always make sure you eat them with other foods so that your body can digest them better. Some dairy products are easier to digest. For instance, cottage cheese or some cheeses are a little easier to digest than milk or milk products. Nowadays, they also make food products that are lactose free, or you can also find food products that contain the added enzyme lactase, and you can find those at some grocery stores. There are also a lot of other non-dairy products to choose from, especially for milk. Instead of drinking dairy milk, you can choose almond milk, soy milk, oat milk, or rice milk. And lastly, there is another treatment that you can get over the counter, and it is a lactase enzyme replacement. It comes in the form of pills or capsules, and you will wanna take a dose of this when you first start to eat dairy products to help avoid lactose intolerance symptoms. Now let's talk about prevention. Overall, to prevent the lactose intolerance symptoms that we talked about, it's best to avoid dairy or milk products altogether. But as you can see, if you are one who loves dairy, or you can't give up pizza because it has cheese on it. There are a lot of other options to get around the symptoms of lactose intolerance like we just talked about. By experimenting with various non-dairy products in your diet or by using the lactase enzyme replacement, you will be well on your way to preventing lactose intolerance symptoms. 
And that wraps up our discussion today on lactose intolerance. I hope that this information was helpful for you. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments section. I would be happy to answer those. If you would like to see more educational videos like these, be sure to subscribe as I am making new videos every Friday, and I will see you on the next video. Until next time, bye.